Well, we had a good deal with her. I've got an Xbox phone if one of them needs a... one of the bits that hold the battery in. This has even got Jewel cells in. 60 gig hard drive. Might even have some games on that. Looks a bit dirty. Well played on. As long as it works, it'll be alright. Came with these games. I don't know anything about them. Saints Row. Wolfenstein. <laughs> Aye, well, Wolfenstein. It looks interesting anyway. Guitar heroes. Well, I'm not I wasn't interested in that shit, like. No, the Frankenstein sounds alright. Uh, Frankenstein. Uh, Wolfenstein, man. Wolfenstein. 25 quid for that lot. Be alright if it works, man. Yeah. Better than watching YouTube constantly. This thing. I was expecting a fiver for that. But no. Hang on. I've got a cup here. You can, yeah, I think it's brand new. On the top, you even got a fall away spoon. Keep food, soup, drinks, hot or cold, and it proper same as thing. Quid? A quid, like? The man's insane. I love him. His men. <laughs> Some ski gloves, which I thought, oh, they're good. They even got extra bits on the thumb on the end of the tips. For like hard wearing and that, and like leathery. And then, don't know if it's a good make or not, like. But they're warm, they're inner lined. A quid for them. Some lovely golden boots, well, shoes. Adidas gold. You know me, I love me gold, like. Top shoes with gold on, man. I mean, seven quid. Used or not, seven bloody quid, man. How oh, lovely. Onto these buggers. Panasonic, you know, Panasonic's a mint make. Wrong way with the light. Get off it, man. Just, you know, quite high homage, so it'll be kind of high pitched. You know, good size surround speakers, then. You know, and, uh, also, like, um, hang on, I'll get to it soon. But first of all, I found the games, what we're going to test it out on. I'll test the Xbox with. It's all right, that one. I prefer that one, like. You know, it's better handling than that, like. You can do more. They're good games, like. I like this. Cruising around, shooting things. Gina doesn't like it because she thinks it's cruel shooting animals, but she loves GTA and shooting people. <laughs> she loves this game. I'm not so keen about it, like, but it's that, I suppose. And there's another. That's crazy. We can't even get very far on that one, like. But the other Xbox has got GTA 5 on the hard drive and it's behind loads of things in the house and I can't get to it. So I bought this one. 
Yeah, a bit worried. But I had bought something else. Something really random. He saves this change up for us. And I buy uh, ones and one and two pence pieces. And I'll get to that right now because I've got a little trick. Because the, the copper pennies basically and two pences that only came out between certain years. And normally you've got to check the dates to see if the copper, but I've got a tip to help this all out. Makes it much quicker and easier. Hang on, I'll get the wit just in a second. Right, here we go. Need the light on, maybe. Look at that. Neodymium. Picks out all the non copper things. A little bit tedious, but not as tedious as looking at all the dates. <laughs> you know, it saves a hell of a lot of time. Like. I bought four pounds worth of change off them, and I'm guessing I might have 50 k, 50 coins, which are copper. And so I had to make a video of this. See, look. Not many want to be picked up there. Oh, that one's gone down the side. I knew that one would be. They've got a different colour about them. See that? That's not copper. I drilled so one one day to use it as a washer. And I was quite surprised that it was like orange on the outside, <laughs> steel on the middle, or whatever it is. Some sort of metal, anyway. It's hard to drill through. But some of them look like copper. You know, they've kind of got, kind of got the same colour about them. Like, look at that. Because you know, usually you can get a few hanging. Oh, it's different magnets, these ones, aren't they? But there, uh, all them ones are not. That, that one is. Like I say, you know, check the dates and then you'll see what the latest date is. I think it's 86 or 88 or something like that. Maybe even 89. You know, they have to make money out of cheaper materials. And copper is getting worth, worth more money than the coinage itself, like it is now. And that's what I'm doing. Taking out all the copper and collecting it. It's not all about the gold and silver. You know, the last time I checked it for two pence, that's a one pence, but a two pence, one of these, if it's made out of copper, and that looks like it is because it's got green on it, just see it. no, no, must have been corroded off another coin. But if it's made out of copper, that two pence is worth five pence. So, it's worth keeping that like. It's just like all these silver coins, you know. And it's got a face value of whatever. But the solid silver. To all you coin enthusiasts. So how many do you think I'm going to get? Like the four pounds worth of that make a nice little competition that guess how many copper coins is in this box out of four pounds worth of ones and two pences that'd be interesting to know if you can guess yeah i'll try and get a better 
you will not. Oh, that's better. Paint your seats. Oh, still staying on the wrong ones. Can you tell how many coppers there's going to be in there? Leave your guesses below in the comments. And I'll, I might do a little competition actually. I don't know what I'll give you. I'll have to work that one out. It'll always be a big copper probably. <laughs> Only joking, like I'll no, I'll find some of it. It'll be all right. I was thinking about making some merch, like last man Ralph hoodies and fucking t-shirts. So you might get one of them. Well, a t-shirt anyway. Catch you later. Cheers. <laughs>